Welcome to the TV News broadcast on Turning Radio and Television Station. Ladies and gentlemen, in the morning of November 11th, the Chairman of Turning Provincial People's Committee Nguyễn Thanh Ngọc chaired the regular monthly meeting of the Provincial People's Committee. The Provincial People's Committee has approved many important contents, including the documents submitted by the Department of Construction on the Program of Urban and Housing Development in the Northern Province in the period of 2021 to 2025 and orientation to 2030, and the content of promulgating a list of plans for public use in urban areas. Representatives of departments, branches, and localities have many comments on urban and housing development as well as policies to support the application of good agricultural practices in agriculture and fisheries in the Nguyen province also. Mr. Nguyen Thanh Ngoc highly appreciated the preparation of the unit, as well as the comments of the delegates attending at the meeting. In addition, the Provincial People's Committee also approved a number of other contents, such as the resolution on assignment of civil servant payrolls in 2022, Proposal on promulgating resolution on policies to support the application of agricultural and fishery production practices in the province. Resolution on the prices of public irrigation products and services in 2021. Resolution stipulating the right of collection, the fees for services in serving and supporting the operation of public educational institutions, and a number of other important contents. Implementing the resolution number 116, as of November the 8th, the Ning province has approved to reduce the unemployment insurance premiums for nearly 1,860 businesses with a total of over 193,000 employees. According to the approval of the Ning Provincial People's Committee, the reduction in unemployment insurance premiums is over 14.4 billion dong. Along with that, the province has also approved support for nearly 176,000 workers. Over 175.5 thousand employees have received the support of more than 405 billion billion dong, according to the resolution number 116 so far. According to the Ning Social Insurance Department, the support money is transferred to the personal accounts of the beneficiaries and to create the most favorable conditions for both employees and employers, the social insurance industry has diversified and flexibly conducted document transactions to help them access policies most conveniently and in the shortest possible time. This year, most public services have been provided online at Level 4. The Department has integrated online public service Level 4 on the National Public Service Portal for more than 1,100 out of 1,877 administrative procedures. From January to mid-September, nearly 260,000 applications were handled on the term and before deadline at on three levels of province, districts, and communes, reaching the rate of over 98%. The number of overdue dossiers accounts for over 2%. In the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, the province has applied various ways to support the people in submitting and returning administrative documents to just promptly publishing on administrative procedures and instruction on the use of public portal services and supporting online application submission at Level 3 and Level 4 on National Public Service Portal, Provincial Public Service Portal, and then Provincial Public Administration Portal, or on channel social network, especially the implementation of online appointment scheduling in handling administrative procedures for individuals and organizations at the Provincial Public Administration Service Center and the one stop shop of the district and the commune. In the afternoon of November 10th, the steering committee 389 of the Jiao district held a preliminary meeting on the fight against smuggling, trade frauds, and counterfeiting goods in 2021. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic in 2021, the acts of smuggling and trade frauds in the district are relatively complicated. Specifically, the functional forces have detected and arrested 172 cases, with the total value of infringing goods estimated at over 1 billion dong. In his conclusion speech, 
Mr. Nguyễn Hòa Bình, Vice Chairman of Tân Châu District People's Committee, suggested the functional agencies continue to further strengthen the patrol and control to totally prevent the trade in counterfeit and smart goods during the upcoming Lunar New Year 2022. He also requested functional departments to mobilize people to provide information to the authorities for early detection and timely handling of violations. Moving on to other news, the audience do support businesses and people to overcome difficulties due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The banking system in the Ninh province has restructured the repayment periods and maintained their classification for 376 borrowers with a reasonable balance of 93 billion Vietnam dong and an interest of 72 billion Vietnam dong. The local banks so far have restructured repayment period, extended and reduced loan interest as well as maintained debt classifications for nearly 900 borrowers with a principal balance of nearly 2,000 billion Vietnam dong and an interest of about 119 billion Vietnam dong, providing new loans to more than 3,500 customers with outstanding loans of nearly 8,300 billion Vietnam dong, about 136 customers were not transferred to the bad debt groups due to the restructuring of the repayment period, reducing interest and maintaining debt classification with a total outstanding balance of 80 billion Vietnam dong. And the Bank for Social Policies of the Nantes Province has restructured the repayment period, reducing interest and maintaining debt classification for over 147,000 borrowers with a total outstanding loans of about 585 billion Vietnam dong. One enterprise has been entitled to a loan for more than 900 million Vietnam dong to pay for employees doing work stoppage, according to resolution number 68 of the government. And currently, the outstanding balance of the 16,000 billion Vietnam dong packages is 238 million Vietnam dong. The audience the situation of COVID-19 pandemic is still quite complicated in the Ninh province. In recent days, the number of new infections detected in the community has increased worryingly. Sometimes over 400 new cases were discovered just in one day. Many localities said that the rate of vaccine coverage has increased very quickly, but the number of people infected with COVID-19 has also risen sharply due to the subjectivity of the people. Over the last week, the number of confirmed cases of SARS-CoV-2 has increased quite rapidly. On November the 9th, 403 cases out of 412 were found positive by screening test. The number of positive cases in November the 10th were 675 cases, of which 670 cases were also detected through screening tests. Over 97% of the population aged 18 years and over in Goyou District so far has received at least one shot of COVID-19 vaccine. The local leader said that traveling among localities has become easy in recent times. The spread of infectious disease from businesses to the community and vice versa is mainly caused by workers and people traveling among localities, having a subjective mentality and not strictly complying with epidemic prevention and control measures. In the coming time, we will continue to strengthen propaganda to raise people's awareness not to be subjective about the pandemic. With a large number of infections in the district currently, there are large clusters of infections in businesses. The organization of the venue and the cash staff were both very difficult. There are very few personnel but they have to take on a lot of tasks. Goyao District currently has six isolation areas for COVID-19 treatment. In the near future, the few hospital number six based in Fudong Industrial Park will be put into operation and managed by the District Health Center to meet the requirements of isolation and treatment of COVID-19 patients. With the current workload, it can be seen that the health sector of Goyao District is under great pressure. As for Hoa Thanh Tao, the population aged 18 and over vaccinated is also 85%. The number of people receiving two shots of COVID-19 vaccine has also reached nearly 50%. The need to restore production and trade combined with people's subjectivity has created a great risk of spreading in the community. Now the disease is spreading very fast. 
so the local health teams regularly check and screen for high-risk groups such as those living in boarding houses, small traders, drivers, or service workers, etc. To prevent and control the pandemic well, people need to strictly comply with the 5K principle. Those suspected of being infected must immediately contact the health station for proper treatment as required. Huatan Tao has established eight mobile medical stations to monitor and provide health care advice for home treatment cases. If the number of confirmed cases continues to increase, the pressure on grassroots medical facilities will also rise further. In Tengchou district, the number of people aged 18 and over receiving the first dose of vaccine reached 87.94%, and the number of people receiving the second dose were 42%. Vaccines are not enough to reduce the number of infections, especially in businesses with a large number of workers having subjectivity psychology. The infections detected in the community are mainly people who have been vaccinated but have a subjective mentality. They think that they had already had one or two shots of vaccine, so it will be fine. In addition to strengthening propaganda so that people are negligent or subjective after receiving the vaccine, Tang Chau District will also suggest businesses to equip QR code scanners. This measure is to ensure that customers and employees always strictly comply with the medical declaration, limiting the spread of the infectious disease in the community. That's all for today's TV News. Thanks for watching and see you next time.